Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. If you guys don't know, my name is Brittany Cruz and I am here to um, share with you my lifestyle on this channel. Um, really just to encourage myself and you guys to live a life with style, with grace, and with confidence. I am a style blogger on Instagram and on my blog. So today um, I am 32 weeks pregnant. I have eight weeks left to go. And I realized I need to give you guys some updates on what's been happening in my second well, what happened in my second trimester, I'll do my third trimester update probably next, next. Uh, well, after baby comes, I'll give you a third trimester update. But basically, um, yeah, I'm super excited to get into it. Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys um, what happened in my second trimester, and then also um, some items that I found to be amazing that helped me so much in this trimester and even in the first trimester. And I'm so happy I pulled the trigger on a lot of these items because before uh, my first pregnancy, I didn't pull the trigger on a lot of things until my third trimester. And why did I do that? I don't know. So definitely decided to spoil myself this time so I love watching these videos I love watching recap videos I love um, learning about other women's experiences with their pregnancy um, it's definitely been something that I have been quite obsessed with so I wanted to share my story okay so this is my second pregnancy um, um, compared to my last one I could definitely tell you that this has been the least stressful for me completely on purpose um, I definitely gave myself extreme levels of grace um, in my first and my second trimester and I can attest that it has definitely helped me stay stress-free and loving on my baby girl and loving on my son and so I really enjoy that also um, what else it's a pandemic so I'm definitely in my house so much more I'm putting my little one through school um, through first grade virtually and then also I work from home so I'm working from home doing the teacher thing and the mom thing and the wife thing for the first half of the day and then the second half of the day I drop him off at uh, my husband's parents house and I go into work um, for two to three hours and work there and then after that I pick my son up and go home and begin the night routine of family so it's a busy day every day of the week so yes it's been crazy so my second trimester so during my second trimester you get into your second trimester week 14 I believe and uh, by the time I got to week 14 I expected to I think week 13 or 14 I expected to have an insurmountable amount of energy because my first trimester I was exhausted and very extremely nauseous um, I didn't throw up but it was just always on the verge like always on the verge like every day was am I gonna throw up today is today the day I never did but yeah so second trimester I was so excited about and ready to get into the groove but really I didn't get into the groove of my second trimester until about week 18 that's when things started to change for me on my energy I think I took a family vacation in my second trimester too um, so I think in the first part of the second trimester we took a family vacation in Fort Lauderdale so we stayed on Las Olas which was beautiful it was a great time a great time to reset to rest and relax for an entire week so that was amazing um also what i did is um gender reveal we revealed the gender of our baby girl it's a girl and we're excited i'm not doing anything special to reveal her name her name is zoe marie cruz that is what we decided and um we probably came but we've came up with the name years ago but we weren't completely sure because sometimes you feel different but um after a lot of time thinking we decided yeah that's the name so her name is zoe um i'll tell you more reasons why we named her zoe or why i decided to name her zoe um at least for me and then my husband why he decided to but i think we both have different reasons but we came into agreement and her name is zoe um also 
recap, it was Christmas time <laughs> and Vlogmas for a month of my second trimester. So uh, most of uh, October, November, and December um, was my second trimester. So that was Halloween, that was Thanksgiving, and Vlogmas. So I was super busy, and I'm so I was so happy to finally have energy. Um, I believe that I use that energy to create content for you guys. I was able to step up uh, my style replays on social media. So you guys were able to get like two a week, I believe, during that time. Also, I was able to kind of plan and really uh, think about what I wanted my third trimester to feel like and look like what did I want to get done. Um, I finished my registry in my second trimester, so I got a lot of stuff done um, in my second trimester. I think um, one of the things that I did also was I stepped up my hydration game. I, um, I think I took a break on walking, but I was walking every day and doing yoga every day, and then I took a break during Christmas break. And then New Year's, New Year's was a great time. Um, I work also at a church, I'm a worship leader, and I have multiple jobs and multiple things there <laughs> at that church. But basically, to keep our congregation safe, we decided not to do a New Year's service in person. We did a New Year's service online only, and that was beautiful. And then what was great about it was we got out at like nine o'clock. Um, we still had me and Jay because we work in media and social media. So had some work to do at the end, but we were able to make it home and kiss each other. Happy New Year at midnight in our home. Roman didn't make it. He was knocked out, but it was a beautiful night for us. And I was able to really reset together. And that was our first time um, celebrating Happy New Year as a couple in our home. Usually we're at church or we're somewhere. So that was a beautiful moment for us. This baby is all over the place. I mean, there's times where I would want Thai food, uh, Chinese food, um, cereal is huge, like cereal with almond milk, cold cereal with almond milk. Um, I love Panera salads. That was really big. Panera salad and soup was a big one for me. Um, what else? What else, what else did I love? Gatorade, I love Gatorade in my second trimester. And then also, um, what else? Um, the Honey Citrus Lemon Tea from Starbucks, I'm still on it. Um, I get one probably every week. I need to make it myself. Um, I still have my coffee every uh, every day, one cup a day I get. And, and, I was big on iced coffee, hot coffee was not, it didn't matter how cold it was outside. In Florida, I wanted a cold iced coffee. So cold iced coffee was it. Um, and yeah, so I was really, really good. Also all of my aversions, all my smell aversions went away, um, all second trimester. So that was just a relief in itself. Um, I was also able to sleep better during that time because if I worked out that day, I would get better sleep. Um, so second trimester was a breeze and super, super easy. I had no questions at every doctor's appointment. I was just like, all right, see you next time. You know, it was really simple, really easy. A couple things changes for my body wise. Okay, so did I gain any weight? My first trimester, I gained three pounds. So really no weight gain. And then my second trimester, I gained 11 pounds. So total, 11 plus three is 14. So my whole second trimester and my first trimester, I gained 14 pounds. Um, at the moment now, I really haven't gained any more weight since then, maybe two to three. Um, and it goes up and down depending on my water intake. So I really don't know what that looks like, but I'll definitely weigh myself at, you know, towards the end. So you guys can see my total gained weight. Um, I'm not really worried about it. Um, second uh, The second pregnancy, I'm just not gaining as much weight as I did, uh, maybe because I had a little bit of extra weight from COVID. <laughs> so there's that. I've had some discoloration on my neck due to the hormones. And so I've used some brightening serums to kind of help and keep this area primed and beautiful. 
um, but I'm not really worried about it. I'm not embarrassed about it. It's just something that happens when I'm pregnant and it just comes and goes. It goes after I have the baby, so it's no big deal. Um, um, I This time, I haven't really had any swelling at all. No swelling. Um, sometimes I'll feel a little tight and I'll know that I need to drink water, but um, the swelling that I had, the level of swelling that I had first pregnancy was a lot more and I felt I got I was swelling at 12 weeks 13 weeks so this time I've been really good and really fortunate to avoid feet swelling so that's been nice energy way more energy way 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 more energy that's pretty much it hair and skin has been amazing second trimester my hair has just been awesome I for the second trimester I straightened it a lot more um, it's just been easier to manage so let me share with you guys my second trimester must-haves um, so the first thing is this bottle of water this thing is amazing I'm taking sweet I bought this bottle of water in the beginning of 2020 as a Christmas present to myself and I'm still carrying it into 2021 and I carried it most of my pregnancy it's been really great um, what I do with this bottle what I like about this bottle is it's really easy to drink from it's you know nobody everybody knows this is my water bottle it has a wristlet which is really great um, for getting in and out of the car with lots of stuff um, and then also it tells you like a gauge of where you should be at the time of day and I try to follow it as much as I can. I'm, I don't beat myself up, but basically the goal is to drink at least two of these a day. Now, what I do with my water is I use just spring bottled water or the filtered water from my fridge and I pair it with my Go Filter app. I've shared with you with this with you guys before, but it's called the Go Filter filter. <laughs> it's called the Go Filter. I will put a picture of it right here for you guys. Um, this basically makes any bottle of water alkaline, so um, it's already in here, the filter's inside, but basically it alkalines my water and it takes about 15 minutes. So I pour the water in, I leave the cap open for 15 minutes, and the water is now alkaline and it tastes like Evian water, really close to it. Um, this is really great, alkaline water is so good for you. My family discovered it after my mom was diagnosed with cancer and that was one of the things that the doctor told her to do was you need to drink higher alkaline water and she was like, shoot, I'm getting the whole family on it and I got spoiled and I was going to, um, I was going to Costco spending, you know, buku amount of money per week on drinking high alkaline water and I looked this up and I found it and it's amazing. So this thing is only $30. You can get it from Amazon. I will link it for you guys. I definitely recommend it. Um, you put it inside your water bottle and there's one in here. This is the old one. And I probably replace it every three to five months depending on my water intake. So my goal is to do it every three months because it's 700 and it, this will alkaline 750, 16.9 ounces of water. So that is crazy amounts of savings and also um, good for the environment. Really good for the environment. So this is the number one thing that I recommend is getting yourself a water bottle. I will link this down below. It feels amazing, it's a great color and I, there's multiple colors available and I just recommend this so much. It's, it's a great bottle of water. It's not too big, it's not too small. It's a perfect amount. So definitely I will link this down along with this for you guys. Another thing that I do to stay hydrated um, I discovered it by another by another blogger. Oh, Alex um, Alex Garza, Alexandria Garza. They're out of Nashville. It's a family vlog, and she recommended the Element Recharge Electrolyte Drink Mix. Actually, to tell you the truth, when keto was a big thing, um, this was also recommended by Katie. Um, basically, it is a electrolyte powder that goes into 16 ounces of water and what I love about it is it has a thousand milligrams of sodium 200 milligrams of potassium 
and 60 milligrams of magnesium. Okay, so I don't drink it every day, but I drink, I try to drink it at least once, at least once a week. Um, this increases my hydration and it also helps me sleep because um, magnesium is good for you regarding that and then potassium. So um, obviously when you're pregnant, you can get really dehydrated extremely easy and you're lacking all of this these nutrients that happen when you're um when you're hydrated and what i found is i haven't had any i'm not telling you it can't it tried to creep up on me but i haven't had any um charlie horses in the night now if i feel that it, they're almost like they're trying to happen I will pop this, I pop, I'll pop one of these. And sometimes, I think I made it do twice a week, but I've only made it really, once a week is where I've been at as far as like uh, a pattern goes. But as long as I get this, I haven't had any Charlie horses. And my first pregnancy, second trimester was, I would wake up in the middle of the night, silent screaming because of the Charlie horses that I would get. So, I mean, if I move my toe wrong, a Charlie horse would come on. So these are amazing. I definitely recommend um, amazing. They come in citrus salt flavor, orange flavor, and a berry. I do not like the berry, but I like all the citrusy ones. So I definitely recommend, I get it from Amazon and I will link it down below for you, but I recommend this to you. If you are pregnant, you need hydration. So this is big. Okay, so sleeping, I'll go into sleeping. So the electrolyte mix has worked really well. Also, my pregnancy pillow. So this is the Boppy um, pregnancy pillow. It comes in different shapes and sizes. There's so many options, but I got the, I like it because it's cooling. Um, what else? Um, it's, it's a really good shape. This, this part goes in between my legs and this part I lay on. Um, my husband and my child, they love it too. Roman wants it after I have the baby. But it is a great item it's fifty dollars and i recommend as soon as you find out you're pregnant within your first 12 weeks you need to make an order and get this thing okay do not hesitate you need to sleep well and um also you have to make a habit to not sleep on your back i know some of us do it on accident every now and then i do it and this helps me not to sleep on my back okay so I definitely recommend this pillow. This feels amazing. It is my best friend. Um, my last boppy that I had with Roman, I brought it to me to with I brought it with me to the hospital when I gave birth to my child. It is a very comfortable piece of pillow, and you definitely need it in your life. So, at fifty dollars, and if you get it from um, Bye Bye Baby you can get 20% off, because I know you guys are getting those 20% off coupons. If you're getting Bed Bath & Beyond or Bye Bye Baby, get the 20% off of the $50 and hook yourself up. It's also available on Amazon. I will link it down below for you guys, okay? Skincare. So, um, for skincare, um, I will get into, so hydration obviously is number one when it comes to skincare, but um, I have really pared down my um, skincare. Um, you guys already know I use CeraVe for my skin. I've definitely done a video on this before, uh, but I use the CeraVe SA Cleanser and also the Hydration Hyaluronic Acid Cleanser. And then I also use the uh, Rough and Bumpy um, SA Salicylic Acid Moisturizer. Um, and I will put it right, a picture of it here, and I will link it down below for you guys. But it is good, it is affordable, and it's simple, and it helps me stay pretty and nice and simple. Um, other things that I use for skincare. So when I was on, in my first and my second trimester, I had a bit of aversions to smells. The only thing I loved were citrus smells and rose scents. And so I had to change my deodorant completely to the Salt Rock, um, which works really well. This is the Crystal Body Deodorant. It's a piece of Salt Rock, literally. If you guys can see, I will link it up to a picture right here. And basically you wet it and you put it on your armpits and you stay um, odor free for many hours. I would say 12 hours is the best that I've seen, then you'll probably have to reapply or take a shower. So 
this works really well and I definitely recommend also I know a lot of cancer uh, friends who have overcome cancer that they actually recommend this item so that is really interesting but it has no foreign chemicals going into the pores of your armpits which is a beautiful thing so I definitely recommend this um, it's a great item and I will link it down below you can get a two pack for like six bucks and it will last you for years okay the only reason why I rebuy is because I lost it um, the next item for skincare is I use this rose hip vitamin C balancing facial oil I was using it for my face and also for my neck vitamin C has brightening um, properties and so I would you know lather my neck off with this to prevent um, not prevent but just to help with the discoloration of my neck because of the hormones um, and then finally my holy grail okay bio oil this stuff is amazing okay I didn't discover bio oil until I was a month postpartum and I had stretch marks on my breasts um, and I was getting ready to go on a trip and I was like he's got to go and I used this for three to four weeks and they have they, they faded away yes faded away so I was like next pregnancy I'm gonna put this on every day I'm not perfect but I do put the put it on often and it will last you a long time and um, it doesn't really have a scent to it this stuff is so freaking good you guys have to get it um, definitely recommend it okay so bio oil I'll link it down below it is the best to me item that I've ever had there's so many creams and so many things out there but this I've seen results and I don't have any new stretch marks right now which is great so definitely recommend that okay so fashion so when it comes to fashion um, I recommend getting your I recommend getting maternity pants and leggings second trimester um, even the first trimester if you're starting to grow a lot faster so I picked up this company called Isabel maternity by Ingrid and Isabel this line of leggings I have three pairs I have this gray pair which I'm showing you now because they're brand new they're gray I also did a haul on two pairs of them in my vlog in vlogmas I'll link that down below but these things are amazing you guys they feel good they um, they're really airy you can breathe in them it's just a really great item and I just definitely recommend this brand from Target I will link every single item I've gotten but I've gotten gray I've gotten black leopard it's like all black with like a leopard print on it but like you can't barely see it and also I have camo too and they are the best leggings the most comfortable leggings the most airy leggings the most breathable leggings I've ever had during pregnancy I definitely recommend they wash well um, I wore them every week since I've gotten them I cannot wait till they get out the dryer to put them on that day it's happening so I definitely recommend it also a pair of jeans that I found from Target also these are by same company Isabel maternity these are the straight crop jeans so it has a belly band in the back with support and also a belly band in the front the back pockets are real and the holes are cute and then the ends are frayed they are a straight legged jean which is great they are super comfortable they do not um, they're not hugging me and they're not like super tight in the wrong areas they are perfect so I definitely recommend these jeans I will link these below also um, for you guys because it's just a really great pair of jeans and um, I know not everybody's leaving the house but just in case you do and you want to wear jeans like with a t-shirt these are the ones that you want to get and then also concerning fashion which like home style is this robe by I don't even know who it's by it's a size medium I don't know I think it's by Amazon basics but this robe is amazing you see this material it's like this heavy bouncy material you know what I'm gonna look up what it is because the material is 95% cotton and 5% spandex 
Okay, so this stuff is so good. It is great, especially for a Florida girl, <laughs> okay? Um, it's a great gift for a mama to be, and I'm gonna actually pick up a gray one also, so I have black. Um, the sleeves are all the way down to my wrist, which is great, I can cook and clean. Um, also, the, the strap doesn't come off, it stays on, it's connected, which is amazing. Who wants to find a strap after you've washed your robe? It washes well and dries well, and you could just start and use it all over again. So I definitely recommend this robe in your pregnancy, especially as we're working from home and we're putting our kids to school, you have to put something on real quick. This is the item. All right, and then some lifestyle items. So a couple of lifestyle items that I've had. I would recommend this cute journal. It's only $13. It is a mom-to-be journal. And I just love it so much. I have to put more pictures in here. But um, it's a really great journal and to keep by your bedside to put your thoughts. I believe that journaling is such a great practice to have, especially during pregnancy and throughout your life, to kind of you know track what's going on with your life and, and what you're experiencing. And I, I experienced most of my thoughts in the first trimester because it's a secret and nobody really knows about it. You're not talking about it, you're not expressing it, and I'm I'm a huge expresser. And so by you know having this journal, it's been a beautiful thing. Um, it tracks and asks you questions. It, you can journalize how you're feeling. It has really great quotes. Um, it's just a really beautiful thing. I really, really love it. So. This is the journal I recommend. I also bought a pregnancy planner and I didn't really use that. This is the one that I actually find it's stress free. So I'll link this down below. I picked it up from Amazon and it's only like 13 bucks. So I will definitely link it for you guys. And it's neutral color for whatever you're having, a boy or a girl, it will work for you. And then a couple of apps that I recommend. I recommend the Abide app, meditation app. Definitely, you can meditate for two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, seven minutes, whatever's gonna work for you. Just squeeze something in, in the morning or in the night or any time of the day to reset your mind. I also recommend the Baby to Body app. Oh my gosh, you guys, this app is so good. Um, I just really love it. It gives you bite-sized information every day and I really leaned on it in my first trimester and in my second trimester. Now, I haven't been looking at it. I'm just focused on nesting at the moment. Um, what else? Another app that I use is also the Sprout app. Um, um, I didn't really start using that until now, so we'll talk about that later. Um, what other things? Oh, the Bible app is amazing. They have some really, really great devotionals on there. So I definitely recommend those. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll put the information here. I talk about the devotionals that I'm doing every week. And so you guys can join me if you want. And what else? What else? What else? That is it, guys. That is my life. Oh, and my favorite sneakers. My favorite sneakers right now are my, um... Yeah, my favorite sneakers right now are my Air Force Ones. They have been just so trendy and cute during pregnancy, so I'm so grateful I got them for my birthday um, over the summer, right before I got pregnant, because they have been a godsend in my life. So definitely want to share that with you, and I will link those down below too. I definitely recommend them during pregnancy. And that is it, guys. I really appreciate you guys watching and sticking around in the video with me and knowing what I need and what's going on. I will definitely share with you guys what's going on in my third trimester. Um, I'm probably gonna be vlogging, so you guys can see some vlog style videos come out. Um, I'm setting up this room. Also, this is a third trimester thing, but I set up this room, I painted this room, and we're putting up curtains this weekend. We're doing the kids' room this month, um, setting up for the baby shower, um, packing my hospital bag, um, prepping the house for visitors. There's just so many things that we're doing. Um, but, you know, honestly, second trimester, give yourself grace, even in your first trimester. Give yourself grace, write things down, and ask for help, okay? Those are my three tips. Give yourself grace, write things down, and then ask for help, ask for help. Um, people don't know how to help you until you ask. So make sure to ask your friends and your family and your loved ones for help. Tell them what you need. 
you don't have to be superwoman you're already amazing because you're pregnant and you're cooking up a little baby and you're just perfect just the way you are so just keep killing it keep going and i'll see you guys next video all right love you guys shine bright live safe live well be great okay oh and if you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, and also subscribe. Hit the notifications bell so you know the next time that I do videos. And I'll see you guys next time.